to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Prayerful, but when you are stepping into very defining moments, there is an unusual urge to pray you'll just find out that you almost don't want to be in the midst of people you want to be alone this is a very ancient principle i have been teaching for a long time just help those under the anointing an unusual urge to pray number two there will be an unusual urge to give at that point when seasons are about to change in your life you can give almost anything anything at all an unusual urge to give nothing seems to make sense to you again number three there will be an unusual sometimes inexplainable attack from the kingdom of darkness it's like a season where everything just begins to fight you pay attention everything just begins to fight you your job your spouse your family for no known reason the agitations from hell because you see satan is not satan is not omniscient he does not know all things so he uses angelic activities to suspect why are angels suddenly moving around a family he knows that angelic activities only happen at the instance of the word he does not need to know the details the moment he sees angels ascending and descending he knows that the word of god has been sent towards that life and so he will come to find out what is going on hallelujah this is very important and the final sign is that God orchestrates a prophetic encounter for you because you see prophecy is very powerful it can announce seasons it can bring seasons to end hallelujah let me repeat myself an unusual urge to pray an unusual urge to give demonic attacks suddenly around your life and then an encounter with the prophetic these are biblical signs there are some of you i just described you by this exhortation therefore i decree and declare anyone here who has come to the end of a season i call upon my god the god of my covenant I push you to a new season in the name of Jesus Christ please help those under the anointing I push you to a new season new financial seasons new spiritual seasons there are some of you in ministry there are certain graces you did not carry before but God is about to be announcing you in new ways greater mantles greater new anointings by the kaposh katela kata by the spirit of god i stand by this road and i shift you step into new seasons step into new dimensions step into new seasons climb that ladder in destiny in the name of jesus christ step into new seasons in the name of Jesus Christ some of you this is the season you will encounter 
the mantle of your destiny until now you are elisha but you have been a farmer whereas in destiny you are a prophet i relocate you by the mantle of your destiny anywhere you are operating now that is not consistent inside outside i stretch my hands i call upon the god of my covenant step into those mantles find the mantle for your destiny find the mantle for your destiny Please make sure you are praying don't waste your time you came here for an encounter i know what i'm saying i know what i sense from my spirit i tell you there are people here where you are is not the mantle of your destiny has been searching for you you are a prophet what are you doing in the farm you are a kingdom financier what are you doing around i stand again by the god of my covenant and i declare be relocated to the place of destiny and anyone deceiving you and wasting your time and wasting your destiny i clear them out of your life <laughs> esther was ordained to be queen but she was in shushan ruth was ordained to be part of the lineage of jesus but she was somewhere experiencing a cause peter was a fisherman whereas his destiny was an apostle pray in one minute align me oh god to the place of my relevance the place of my destiny i'm tired of escorting others i'm tired of wondering what to do with my life your assignment is as important listen to me your assignment if you do not locate the place of destiny you will keep escorting others you will get angry you will get offended your breakthrough your your celebration your relevance is in that place of your assignment pray father tonight it says lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me it has been written of you Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel, when you come again. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Oh, Esther, your season has come. Oh, Ruth, your season has come. Oh, Peter, your season has come. Oh John, your season has come. Elijah, your season has come. Oh, my season has come. 
My season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh. I'm seeing a grace for prophetic psalmistry. There are many of you, you have been called into is a dimension of the prophetic psalmistry. Songs you did not write coming from heaven. I stretch my hands. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. Songs that become ladders for the end time. Ladders into the throne room. Ladders for encounters. I declare may that grace, may that mantle rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, psalmistry by the Spirit, the Davidic order of worship. Take that grace now, in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not wasting your time. You came to church. Just pray in the spirit for one minute. Undivided spiritual attention. This is for kingdom come. This is for my destiny. This is for all connected to this grace. Hela baka reka toshko to brande ke deleketa shkebe reka te baka ta prosko to koto baka teleketa shimeka te leka shko to brando koto badiata. Number two, I want to pray. There are spirits that stand at the gates of new seasons and don't allow people cross. I tell you this: there are spirits that stand at the corridors of your next season financial seasons spiritual seasons kairos moments it takes the power of the holy spirit to uproot these devils out of your way it says say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves i decree and declare every covenant and any ordinance of darkness stopping men from stepping into their seasons i come by fire and in the name of jesus christ i declare those altars are destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now, destroyed now. help them please every spiritual pattern that wants you to repeat what you happened to your father repeat what happened to your mother tying you to the experiences of your territory i come by the rod of the higher priesthood i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be liberated now My head is exalted like the horn 
born of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed with fresh oil the mighty power of God New seasons, new seasons, new seasons. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. Behold. I do a new thing. This is a prophetic word for someone. This is a prophetic word for a family. You came to church to hear this word. The Lord is saying, remember not the former things. Stop giving explanations. Forget the former things. That that which is coming will be a worthy compensation. That which is coming will be a worthy compensation. Stop regretting yesterday. There are greater plans in your tomorrow. Plans that out way that which you have seen for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time the Bible says are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us Just allow yourself in a minute or two to just soak in this glory. Sometimes we are too distracted and when God shows up like this, we waste those opportunities. Do not make the mistake of Jacob. In the glory I will stand. I will stand and lift my hand. It's in your glory I'll receive Every miracle you have for me It's in your glory We will stand We will stand And lift our hands ah. In the glory we'll receive every miracle you have for us. Lord, we believe you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. For this hour of visitation you have come like you always do to change us to lift us to impart upon us unusual graces Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know. Martha, Martha, you are worried and obsessed about many things. You are even offended, but one thing is needful. That Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet.
we trust you we love you we honor you we believe in you this is why we are here every miracle you have for us but thou O oh Lord had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh Lord a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh Lord had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh Lord a shield for me the glory and the lifter of my head Father forever we declare that you remain mighty in our midst this house will remain a conducive atmosphere for your presence for your power we decree and declare that we will continue to love you continue to serve you to stand in partnership with your spirit as you build as you make as you restore as you transform as you empower indeed we are changed we are changed <laughs> we are changed we are changed who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty your mighty battle we call you this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle Tonight, move upon us. Move upon us. Oh, we say amen, amen, amen. Let it be so. Let it be done in this earth as it was and as it is in the heavens. Amen to my lifting. Amen to my restoration. Amen to my rising. Amen to the multiplication of grace. As a family, we declare, Amen, Amen. We are believers of your word. Let it be, O oh God. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance. You see, beloved people of God, one of the things that you are learning every time you come you are learning the ways of the spirit we are a people who love god we are a people who are excellent and organized but you must realize that the secret to what you have seen and you experience every time is our flexibility when the holy spirit comes he does not come here as a tenant he comes here as the lord of sabaoth the Lord of hosts we are only active participants we follow as he leads for if he does not lead we have nothing to do Moses said do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us you can fake power 
but you cannot fake presence no a native doctor can give you power but he cannot give you presence that presence factor is the distinguishing factor Moses said how shall they know that where people separate and he said I will go with you my presence will go with you and I will give you rest I will bring you into your Sabbath I will give you rest glorify your son tonight O oh God glorify the saints that will bring you glory through our lives in Jesus name please be seated the Lord bless you hallelujah the Lord bless you it is important to seek the Lord every time we set ourselves to seek the Lord to know him more to fellowship to grow to encounter him you must realize that we're not wasting our time at all it pays not only to serve Jesus but it pays to know him and it pays to seek him hallelujah let me show you a scripture second Chronicles please second Chronicles chapter 15 second chronicles chapter 15 let's start our reading from verse 12. second chronicles chapter 15 and verse 12. can we read it together in concert we're reading 12 and we're reading 13. ready one to read and they entered into a covenant to seek the lord god of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul next verse that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. The result, next verse. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. Uh -huh. It says, for they have sworn with their heart. We're still reading and sought him with their whole desire and he was found of them and the lord gave them rest round about they entered a covenant that as for me and my house i will not only serve the lord i will seek the lord and the bible says they were found of him and the lord gave them rest round about the lord gave them rest round about Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 the Lord can give rest round about it may not look like it but I tell you God can give rest Abraham was old the Bible says and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things in all things the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. While you are seated, I'd like you to pray one prayer. Father, every other area of my life that is yet to experience your power and your glory, I bring it before your presence tonight. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Hmm. now are we the sons of God and it not doth not yet appear what we shall be like it doth not yet appear what we shall be like it doth not yet appear what we shall be like There is a making that is happening to you. There is transformation that is happening to you. You are evolving into a version of you that is superior in power, superior in grace, superior in wisdom. I want you to believe it.
Hallelujah. Amen. We have been discussing and sharing truths the last few weeks. And I did tell us that the Lord gave me an instruction to teach along the graces that he has so mercifully brought to my life and even to this ministry to the end that we understand the dimensions of God that operate within this house as a family of faith and then to enhance our spiritual growth and we have been considering all of these dimensions of the investment of the spirit we started with the wisdom the spirit of wisdom that this is a dimension that God intends that the saints walk in you can walk in the wisdom of God number two we considered favor that there can there is a possibility that a believer can walk in the favor of God as a grace not just a one-off event if it happens only once it is breakthrough not favor if it is favor it must be consistent hallelujah praise the Lord we'll have a very brief session tonight because I want us to pray but what I want to share with you tonight is a very deep kingdom secret and many times I struggle to share these things not because I do not want the saints to know or to learn them for we have only received them by mercy ourselves but um, it is it is profitless and it may even be destructive to bring a dimension of kingdom truth to believers when there is no preparedness in their hearts to place value on it and to receive it every one of these dimensions that we continue to unveil by the spirit these dimensions are the makers of men any man who has been made by god was made by the coordinated by the synergy of these forces hallelujah and tonight i want to share with you a very deep mystery and it is my prayer that the Lord would by this mystery launch us into very superior dimensions Amen. hallelujah I do not know how far I will go I do not know to what extent we'll stretch tonight but wherever we're able to stop everything I'm teaching we will teach it again you see the thing about mentorship is you never communicate a spiritual truth once the goal is not newness the goal is freshness you have to continually repeat these truths again and again it says i will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things although ye know them and are established in this present truth hallelujah and so tonight i'm teaching on the mystery of supernatural encounters hmm. i will share with you a secret tonight that has been responsible for divine encounters And it is my prayer that you will appreciate this truth you are about to receive it will marvelously transform your spiritual life it will marvelously transform your destiny hallelujah job chapter 42 and verse 5 job left us a very important key that begins our guide it, it serves as a guide for us tonight even as we begin to explore the subject of supernatural encounters many believers have for a very long time they they have been frustrated in their Christian experience because their spiritual life looks like borrowed ideas they hardly have convictions of their own and so you find out that the average believer has to depend on the confidence of a pastor depend on the confidence of an apostle a prophet or the confidence of a corporate people to be able to believe certain things about god but god did not design us in this kingdom to have to depend on the conviction on of another to begin our journey it was his intent his desire 
that we get to a point where we become a people of persuasion and a people of conviction ourselves hallelujah job chapter 42 and verse 5 the mystery of supernatural encounters i have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear but now my eye seeth thee i have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear but now my eye seeth thee when i began my journey with god there were many propositions that were brought forth from the pulpit well-meaning well-intentioned men and women of god i heard them say many things about god referenced from scripture they called god many names they advocated many levels and dimensions of possibilities that god could birth in the life and the experience of a believer but I didn't seem to see a manifestation of these things and it troubled me for a long time it looked like God remained a theoretical reality that men would not be able to step into that experience my heart yearned for a level of nearness that I did not easily see around me preachers seemed very distant from the God they were talking about conferences were written or conferences were organized books were written about a god that they seemed very far from and i knew that something was wrong i knew that something was wrong not necessarily with the communicators but with the whole idea i found out that there were many people who believed certain spiritual truths not because it had become true in their lives they believed them because they liked the communicators of those truths so their their their, their faith in the truths that were communicated were not because they believed that those speakings were true they believed that those who said them were sincere people well-meaning people or lovable people but one thing i can tell you is that for as long as you live long enough upon this earth your convictions will be tested from head to toe and so it matters that the things that you hold there the things that you hold as true are true indeed the bible gives us a word of caution that you must be careful so that what you call light be not darkness did you know you can walk in a lie for many years you can teach a lie you can mentor people along the lines of a lie and then at the end of your life or when you have gone so far you will now realize that what you have been holding as true was a lie it is dangerous to believe a lie and hold it there and continue to build your destiny around that lie only for you to find out that what you believed was not true if i have any fear in my life or any concern in my life it is that i do not want to believe something that after many years i will find out that i've believed a lie and so i'm not ashamed to vet what i hold as true I am unashamed I will vet them unapologetically and if for any reason I find out that what I am holding is not the truth I would declare my disloyalty immediately and without turning back many believers are unable to be transformed because of the our emotional attachment to information that may have been embedded in our minds that may not be the truth the Bible says the only thing that saves is the truth not what you like ye shall know the truth and it is the truth that sustains the power to make you free are we blessed the Bible is full of encounters from Genesis to Revelation scripture lets us see that most of the people almost everyone who was mightily used by god as recorded in scripture 
at one point or the other in their lives they encountered the god of the bible in ways that were spectacular in ways that burned that conviction in their hearts and some of them died believing their experiences some of them based on that experience they rose to be mighty men and women who were used by god and it is important for us to study this subject of encounters because we are gathered today by the privilege of God's grace and this ministry you see is a product of encounters and it's important for us to know because if you lack encounters you will be surprised how stunted how limited you will be in your Christian work are we together what are encounters Let's discuss the subject of supernatural encounters very briefly and very quickly. Supernatural encounters are experiences that bring reality and conviction to us. Experiences that bring reality and they also bring conviction to us. Experiences sent by God to bring reality the awareness of a reality and to also bring conviction this is very powerful the way God designed man God designed man in a way that every time every time you are convicted and persuaded about a truth you stop being ashamed or afraid of it now the way the way we operate in the earth realm anything you are ashamed to advocate it is because there is no conviction in that area this is how God designed us are we together now so when you meet a herbalist as 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 tattered and as uninviting as he looks he is not ashamed of his state because there is a depth of conviction and persuasion he believes in what he's doing he believes in its ability to transform anyone who is interested and so he would sit down in a dark dirty or smelly place whatever it is he will conjure all kinds of rubbish and then he would tell you with certainty that this is able to bless your life this is able to transform you this is able to bring supernatural solutions and he will dare you encounters they are experiences supernatural experiences that bring conviction that establish or furnish the reality of God or the reality of anything whatsoever in the life of the believer please pay attention why are encounters important encounters are important because our walk upon this earth require conviction requires faith our earth walk requires faith and faith is based on convictions convictions are based on encounters there has to be listen carefully there has to be if you are going to walk effectively the Bible says the just shall live by faith four times in scripture it says the just shall live by his faith and faith is predicated upon encounters I am holding a mic on my hand there is nothing you will say or do to convince me otherwise because my senses are relating with this reality are we together now I'm holding a mic your opinion may not have an effect on me because I am surrounded by the awareness of this reality it is lack of encounters that has produced the spiritual vacillations that we have in the body of Christ today and so today I believe this tomorrow I believe this next tomorrow I do not believe what I used to believe again and then by next week I rush back and I think I now believe it all of these vacillations are proof that there is no certainty to the truths that we claim to know I'm not just talking of growth 
many believers today cannot exactly tell you they cannot make an articulate statement of the things that they believe today they believe god delivers and by tomorrow they say I'm, I'm not sure that i understand deliverance again and the next week they say okay i'm healed another time they say no 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 i'm not going to tell lies i am sick are we together now one moment they believe in confessing the word they are speaking the word another moment they say leave that thing it's not just about confession so you see that the vacillations in our christian experience they are proof to us that we are missing something there is something we do not understand about god and the way he walks the second reason why we need encounters is that the the challenges that will surround your destiny and your assignment will require encounters to supply the staying power the power for continuity as far as your destiny is concerned will depend on encounters i can tell you this for free there is nobody's journey to destiny that will be entirely a bed of roses you are going to be confronted by issues vicissitudes of life men and systems and structures will stand to oppose that which god intends to do in your life it will take encounters to supply the staying power there are preachers who begin ministry for instance and they say i love god i was called to serve god and after two years of no results no success they pack it up and they say i'm tired let me just go and look for a job there are people today who resign their jobs because they thought they were called into ministry and after 10 years they look back and say oh dear god punish the man who advised me to to leave my job and get into this vineyard i cheated myself i wasted my time no encounters encounters provide the staying power if you want to continue and finish strong you will depend on encounters more than information when you see some of our fathers of faith 20 years 30 years 40 years some 50 years continuing in the ministry serving the purposes of god i assure you an ambition does not have that kind of power to keep you long you will need encounters are we together now yes sir when you lack encounters anything that captures your attention for the moment will drive your life until you find another thing that seems to be valuable to you so you have all kinds of people today they are in business next tomorrow they are here next tomorrow they are here they they continue to rigmarole around life no reality no conviction no staying power I think it was last week or the week before last that I was whilst teaching I mentioned something that I should mention again there are many people today who were very very serious with God loving Jesus passionately pursuing the purposes of God their entire lives revolved around the kingdom but today some of them in old age they are they are barely born again and if you ask them they will tell you i tried god i gave my best i committed everything god failed me this your christianity thing does not work have you found out the reasons why people leave god and the things of god you will be amazed some because of money someone offered some money and they will dump the faith life without thinking twice others because of marriage they find someone who is blessed and even if they are not of similar faith they just leave everything these are people who will sing all kinds of songs about their love for god people have left god in a heartbeat because they were looking for jobs people left ministry because they got visa they told everybody they had set up their leadership they set up protocol as soon as a door opened they said just continue serving god i will serve him from afar off i go and god said this is how much you love me i'm teaching you this otherwise you will be disappointed at your own life when you see the way you will forget about god 
in the presence of certain realities it is encounters that can keep us regardless how you rise regardless the lifting that comes to your life and regardless the challenges that surround you you are still standing many believers are falling by the wayside especially within this end time you see lots of believers after 10 years 20 years of serving the lord respectfully speaking they now come up to say look i've been living a lie i don't care about this thing again i'm not serious with god i quit no encounters from altar call to spiritual growth most believers are not serious with god because they have not found god to be anything to be serious about are we following now yes there are many young people who are only serving god because they are under the custody of their parents and they do not have an option otherwise it's not because they love that god let's do bible study and they grudgingly sit down and do it and then for many parents the day you now leave them to themselves you will be marvelously surprised that the person you have been calling pastor was never interested in anything about god other people hold on to god because they are in school and they want to do well they are hoping he would just escort them until they are done and once they are done they say god i've used you enough you find your way and go while i live my life Are we together now? There are others who do this business of God because they have been taught that God can bless. And when you are in ministry, you can get honorarium. When you are in ministry, you can get all kinds of things. Someone can come and dash you a car. Somebody can give you a house. And when they try, they apply for jobs. It doesn't work. They apply for whatever. They just come and then they start ministry. And a semblance of passion. And then after one year, they realize they have to rent an auditorium. They realize that there are things that are coming. They count the offering and it's nothing to write home about. And they say, God, I've tried for you. I gave you one year of my life. I'm not ready to continue being a fool like this. Because we do not have encounters a time came when the disciples of jesus became very frustrated listen when jesus began his journey with them i remember jesus telling them all kinds of things and they ran they left their fishing a time came peter was waiting for jesus to come and he said look we have left all to follow you if you are deceiving us tell us now so that we can redeem the time and get back to what we are doing and Jesus looked at them. They were offended. They were frustrated. The staying power to finish strong was not there. As soon as they captured Jesus and they thought that this superstar would just defeat everyone, just shake his hand and everyone would be under the anointing. When Jesus gave himself, watch what happened. The Bible says they ran away. Is it in your Bible? every one of them remember shortly before that time peter vowed jesus even pleaded with peter let me wash your feet he said no way not you now peter ran away the fathers of faith and the patriarchs that we celebrate today world over were not just people who were interested in serving God alone. These were men and women who had solid encounters. They had encounters with God. Encounters that would never, they, they were not going to change from it. Most of my experiences and the new seasons in my life have come as a result of encounters most of them most of them have come as a result of encounters now let me tell you this there are negative demonic and satanic encounters pay attention i must tell you this for instance there are many people today in deception and the confidence that their deception thrives on is the encounters that they had there are many people who believe they went to heaven i tell you by the authority of scripture where they went was not heaven i can tell you this 
both the description the experience and the result tells you it's not heaven they went to there are people today who claim they had out-of-body experiences and many of them interacted with strange spirits familiar spirits they thought it was the holy spirit do you know that almost every error in the body of christ today came as a result of these same encounters many people will tell you i had an encounter either with an angel or a spirit and he told me right and from there they begin to ship in and advocate all kinds of error people have gone to fast for days and they met a spirit because you see i'll be sharing with you that one of the principal triggers for encounter is hunger hunger when you find a believer who is hungry please be fast to guide that person because satan too looks for hunger hunger is proof of health when people are sick the first thing they lose is appetite so you want to start on a journey i want to know you i want to live for you i want to serve you i want to love you with all my heart that drives you to a seven days dry prayer and fasting and you are praying you are lying down you are rolling left right and center and satan finds an opportunity your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit are heightened because of that kind of consecration and satan comes as an angel of light and plants all kinds of demonic and dangerous seeds i will tell you why i'm teaching what i'm teaching tonight it's very important encounters are powerful encounters are important but if i do not give you a few guidelines because i fear for my generation our appetite for rema our appetite for new dimensions our appetite for the angelic realm our appetite for the prophetic realm is that is driving us into dimensions that if not guided you have not yet seen error that will come to the body i tell you in the next five six ten years if we do not create this apostolic guidance for the body of christ many young people will delve into different Different versions of error you will not even know what is authentic Christianity again are we together years ago in Zaria I remember I think I've shared it here. I don't know if I've shared it here there were some gentlemen who came in I think from Kano also one gentleman just came believing he was Jesus not a servant of Jesus believing he was Jesus and based on their revelation they believed that i was like their john the baptist so they came and together with the boys I, jokes apart i really mean it i won't stand here if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking after service this boy stood wore a regalia and then someone was standing by his side i don't know i don't know what they call that one now and then when they stood before me i thought they were cracking jokes with me i was even laughing even though i was tired until i found out they were not playing now do you know listen 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 do you know those boys started with prayer hmm. prayer does many things so you have to understand the side effects of being open to the realm of the spirit and i will teach you how to create that guidance encounters it i've started by appreciating encounters but i am telling you there there is there is a management system that must be introduced fast because the body of christ is in trouble and it's encounters that will lead to the error of this generation of believers encounters satan has programmed arsenals of error that will be shipped to the body of christ through encounters pseudo christian experiences pseudo ex angelic experiences pseudo heavenly experiences and they bring all kinds of destructive doctrines with full assurance there are people today who hear voices they stepped into the prophetic and the holy ghost has never been part of any revelation most of those revelations come from demons do they hear well yes sir they hear 
now i'm not being listen listen when you when you are here don't just be listening and thinking of any man of god i'm teaching the body of christ because most of the people you see when you hear this some of us already have preconceived biases and the bias is because we've never really been serious with god it's not because we are passionate we've not been serious with god so anything that looks supernatural we fight it i'm not endorsing your laxity there are all kinds of errors those errors continue to be translated into teachings you see the thing about encounters is that every time you have an encounter the urge to document it and to share it is there and we live in a generation right now that is passionate with giving applause anything that is scarce anything that is new anything that looks like rema it looks like you derive your respect in the body of christ from the scarceness of your communication if we are not careful there will be bitter casualties i tell you this by the spirit many people are beginning to ship doctrines of demons and communicate them and many people keep swallowing it hook line and sinker satan is doing this because he knows that the spirit of revelation we're coming there when i teach you this you will know why we need the spirit of revelation mm. hallelujah there was a man of god many years ago I didn't have a direct relationship with him but we were so blessed by his teachings he was an amazing man he taught well he taught powerfully his teachings were powerful he was some somewhere around asia eventually when i started studying his teachings after some time he started having all kinds of strange encounters and one day i had to say uh 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 uh, uh, uh. something 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 is wrong this guy began to teach all kinds of concepts he began to manifest attributes that i knew there were problems with today as i talk to you i'm not even sure he's in ministry again powerful man of god sincerely so i don't know what happened because of this search for encounters let me construct what i'm saying so you will understand number one encounters are important we need encounters so that they create convictions but number two encounters are a two a two-edged sword on one hand they can bless and lift but on another hand they can bring conviction towards error that destroys are we together so people have delved into all sorts of things young believers especially have delved into all kinds of things there are people who have bought all sorts of books you get into a christian library right now and you look at the books that are there sometimes you want to run away because you see certain books the moment you open you wonder was it the holy spirit who inspired this there are dangerous and devilish books there are people who have read certain books and while they were reading the next thing they woke up and found out they had been lost they went into realms and dimensions interacted with strange spirits and came do you know how many religions are in the world we live in an internet age i give you as an assignment when you go type religions how many religions are in the world enter you will be amazed let me tell you this every single one of those religions have followers if they did not have followers they would not thrive enough to be seen as a religion and those followers came because of a semblance of results that came from encounters this is the secret that can preserve a destiny can preserve a ministry so that you don't start something and after 10 years you are teaching something else and at a point you don't even understand what you are doing again supernatural encounters now let me explain something why do encounters have negative side effects also i will tell you why because you see encounters especially if they are supernatural visionary encounters 
now you have to understand that an encounter does not have to be visionary to be called an encounter you can have an encounter without a vision once it is supernatural and it can imprint reality and conviction it's called an encounter are we together now but now i'm talking about visionary encounters do you know if you are open to the realm of the spirit there are many things that begin to happen to you immediately you are open to the realm of the spirit number one you find out that being open to the realm of the spirit either by the holy ghost or any other spirit already gives you an advantage over the earth realm whether it is true divination or it is true genuine spiritual encounter with the holy spirit the moment you are open to the realm of the spirit you already have an advantage above the ordinary believer number two the modus operandi of the earth realm is not the same as the realm of the spirit for instance in the realm of the spirit i do not have to talk to you to know what i'm saying i can transfer my thoughts directly to you without speaking if i hold these plants in the realm of the spirit i don't have to study it biologically you see that now yes i can transfer the feeling of that plant and have the impulse of that understanding you have to understand how i'm giving you certain examples in the realm of the spirit time and distance does not operate the way it works here if i need to move from here to this fan i will have to walk but in the realm of the spirit, I can be here and immediately leave this spot and I am there. An example, what happens to you when you are in a dream? You can be in a dream and in one moment you are in a house and then the scene changes, you are somewhere else. The same you. And yet you are still there lying down in your room. Are we together now? Now, in the realm of the spirit, the Holy Spirit, listen carefully, the Holy Spirit is not the only one who has information any spirit at all including the devil has some information that is higher than this earth realm are we together now you would learn that there were times the bible records how that these these fallen angels came and the bible says they had interactions with the daughters of men they did not just come and meet them and produce giants out of them there were things that they taught them there were certain forbidden knowledge that was given to them satan himself is not an ignorant spirit i hope you know that because satan was once in heaven number two it was not satan alone that fell in heaven he fell with other spirits and there is no record of eroding the memory of the things that they know they still have that knowledge many people have interacted with strange spirits entered into all kinds of fraternities and covenants with them in exchange to superior knowledge they have used it in it they have used it to advance technology they have used it in different forms and in different fashions and some of them are honest enough to tell you that it was not just the making of themselves they were assisted by the realm of the spirit so when you are open to the realm of the spirit you will encounter many things can i tell you this if you do not know the road to go to a place and you find me there i can lead you anywhere and tell you that's where you were to go to this is what is happening to many people so they are open to the realm of the spirit because of the energy that is exerted through fasting and prayer spiritual exercises the moment you do that it is easy to have that ascendance in the spirit but the challenge is when you are there now satan is more than happy to hold your hand and usher you and he will give you a thought that is not consistent with the character of Christ. We return with some of these experiences and because we do not have a system of verification. This is also the reason why there is a lot of inaccuracy even in the prophetic. Because the prophetic works by the same formula. You are open to the realm of the spirit and you capture speakings, sights and sounds from the realm of the spirit. But when there is no system to order and organize it, based on scripture, you can download all kinds of things. That's why some work, some don't work. Because they are a capture of mass information from the realm of the spirit. What I'm teaching you may look a bit complicated, but just pay attention. You will understand what I'm saying hallelujah i have had several visionary encounters 
by the grace of God this is a realm of reality that I live in and I can tell you if the Lord did not teach me the system of guidance that I want to provide for you I probably would have been in all shades of error by now all shades of error the next thing I need to teach you about the realm of the spirit is that the realm of the spirit operates with similitudes and you must understand not the activity but the spirit the meaning of those activities because one of the reasons why error has come into the body of Christ is because most times we want to repeat exactly what we saw happen in the realm of the spirit so I give you an instance if in the realm of the spirit I I look at these people in the realm of the spirit and I see them maybe dancing or doing some kind of thing I may not stay to decipher the essence of what was happening I will come down and want to act out the same thing I saw so if I see someone walking five times from the realm of the spirit it may be a prophetic typology of something but then I come physically and I now say well based on what I saw except if God says to act it out but I now tell the person do what you saw and by the time that person leaves and gets result someone else will come and before you know it it will become a spiritual pattern are we together now yes someone will now go to his house and say for me to get a miracle I must walk around five times with no understanding Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Basca Nakata Branda Catecatos, Cate Branda Catapacotosco to break a take and let a car. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.